Corey, why do men get bored of a woman's physical appearance? Well, the harsh reality is kind of like we were just speaking, is that no matter how hot she is or how much you like her body, at some point, as a man, you're going to get tired of fucking her. That's reality, especially if you spend a lot of time together. It really is important to have your own goals, your own your own interests, your own hobbies, your group of friends, things that you do apart from one another. So you can have some time away from one another to miss each other, to think about one another. So when you get back together, even if it's just that later that night when you guys come home, you have things to share. So it's important. And what's interesting, I remember I was having this conversation with a girlfriend of mine years ago. And it's like after sex, after we have our release... I mean, it's like women want to cuddle, <laughs> but guys are kind of like, ah, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I got to clean out the garage. It's like, I, you know, you just, it's like the desire is like to be one is so strong and then you are satisfied. And then it's like the, des- it's like the desire is just totally gone. Post what? Nut clarity. Post <laughs> nut clearing. It's like, you, you literally, it's yeah. like, it's like the, the emptiness the, and so it's in the emptiness that a new desire starts to be born, starts to take root. So you t- shouldn't take it as a personal rejection. It's just, that's what happens. It's like, the, it's just what happens in a guy's body. We're like, we got to have you, then we've had you. And it's like, I think I like I have a coffee right now. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to the gym with the guys, you know, <laughs> I think I'm going to mm-hmm. go shoot some hoops or whatever. Yeah. You've, and then obviously what is it serotonin gets released and or the chemical that makes you the nurturing chemical gets released and that's why women want to lay there and cuddle and mm-hmm. spoon I think, the lovey dovey. I think it's dopamine it's a dopamine, dopamine. I could be wrong yeah but I never studied science so I wouldn't know but on top of that question so well let me I guess let me finish my long explanation <laughs> so in a relationship, if the guy is, because the reality is, no matter how beautiful both of you are, it's like as you get older, you're not going to look as attractive though as you were when you were younger. As you get older, and if your relationship is not, in other words, if you don't like hanging out with the other person, if you don't like listening to her talk about whatever she talks about her, her mundane things that are going on in her life then and you're you're just more into the sex that you're having with her well that's gonna wear off it's like because you're not gonna be having sex all the time especially after you have the what was the nut clearing post nut the post nut clearing (laughs) syndrome (laughs) yeah (laughs) whatever you want to call it oh so anyways it's like don't take it personally don't take it as an ultimate you know rejection if because if you're with somebody like I was saying, is that you have to enjoy their personality if you're going to want to continue to be around them. And it, I'm talking about for, like, long term. I'm not talking, like, where you met, you were hooking up for a few weeks or a few months, and then it got old, and he just seemed to no longer be into you anymore. Well, it, there's more beyond the physical attraction. You want to be attracted to their, to their personality. You want to, and when you look at stats from like long-term relationships, like people that stay together for like many decades, it's like there's always mutual admiration. There's always mutual respect. In other words, they still admire the other person. They, had, you know, the guy admires the woman or her perseverance or the, you know, the fact that she's a great mom or she pays her bills on time or. She has a career that she loves, and she's really good at it, and she impacts people. She could be a school teacher. It, it, does, it doesn't matter. But he literally admires the person that she is, and vice versa. She admires him, and they push each other to always get better. But you know, in long-term relationships, you're, you're going to get tired of each other. Yeah. But if you, you got involved with somebody and you were hooking up a lot because you're young and you're attractive, it was mostly based on lust. And not yeah. so much that they loved your personality. So Who it's when are. you're not having sex, what's the conversation like? Mm-hmm. Does it flow? Is it effortless? Do you have just as much fun when you're not having sex as when you do have sex? And if the only th- good thing about your relationship is the sex, but the conversation sucks, it's, sex well, going to suck at one point. Yeah. It's well, eventually, yeah. once you get to the point where you don't really even want to listen to them or be around them anymore. 
mm-hmm. then the interest in the sex is going to taper off. And so for that question, the way I look at it is men getting bored of a woman's physical appearance, it's going to happen in long-term relationship. You just, just endorphins and plus the natural aging. It's going to happen. But if you love that person's soul, mm-hmm. there's more to love making than just two attractive physical bodies being the end of each other. Yeah. You know what? Like for me, like I have, you know, girlfriends that I wrote about in my book that are they're several decades older than, mm-hmm. you know, the things that I wrote about in the book and they don't look as good as they did when they were in their 20s, but it's like I I love their soul. And so it's like the lovemaking is still passionate. And we still have a fucking blast together all these years later. And so that, but it was more than just a physical appearance. It's like we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was like love at first sight. And I love her. I love their souls. Yeah. And that's the, um, the difference between the love and the lust. The lust, when it's just about the person's physical appearance, but you're not, you don't really connect on a soul level. You, the, mm-hmm. the lust is going to run out of gas and that's why they're going to be able to, to walk away and move on. And you'll never hear from them again after your emotions are all engaged at that point, they, they mm-hmm. walked away and it's like making you feel like they didn't care. Cause quite frankly, deep down they really didn't, mm-hmm. but they maintain the act. And since we project our fantasy of what we want onto the other person, it's like, and you're blinded by your infatuation, you kind of ignore the red flags that this person doesn't really like the chit chat on the phone or FaceTime with me when we're not together or text when we're together or when we're together they don't really seem to be that engaged in conversation or even wanting to hear what I got to say yeah. and so part of self love is noticing the effort that you're getting from the other person is it mutual or are they reciprocating it or is it like teeth maintaining the conversation yeah what I don't get um, you know coming from a guy's perspective um, that you did mention that at the end of the day, connection is very important, and I totally agree with that. But I've had experiences where the guy would tell me that they've had bad experiences previ- previously in the past, like, say, for example, with Miami women in particular. Um, I know someone that he had told me one time, I, I feel like guys don't really admit this to a girl Usually, I just found it kind of surprising that he was comfortable enough to tell me. But more or less, like, around the area I live in, there are... It's an area where there's people with money, right? And you would often find... Well, a good portion of the time, you would often find women that you could tell they've done work on themselves. They look like a porcelain doll? Yeah. So, I remember he would that he had told me that when he's had, you know, stuff with them, he did not, like, deep inside, he wasn't really huge on the fact that they weren't natural because he also realized as you get older, that's not going to last. And yet, and not just with with him, but with other guys, too, in the past, that they would always say that they, they like a girl that's natural and a girl that actually has a brain and uses her brain and has confidence. And yet, you feel that you, you're that type of girl. And at the end of the day, it's like, hi, I'm right in front of you. And they just like completely disregard you. And yet, they still go back to the same women that they don't really like. Mm-hmm. You get me? That, I don't know if I'm explaining myself well. Yeah, but so that here, makes, here's what the bottom yeah. line is with that. You always look at what people do, not what they say. Yeah. And Action. I know it's not the answer that you want to hear, but he just wasn't that into you. You yeah, have to I look know. what people do. And l- listening to you and both of you, it's like you have a tendency to stick around with guys that aren't making a mutual effort because you're hoping they'll like you as much as you like them. And you got to get better at cutting those dudes loose and just letting yeah. them be. If it's not if they're not playing tennis, they're not playing romantic tennis back and forth, if it's not mutual, just walk away. Don't call or text him again for any reason. No, I've definitely learned. Again, if a guy doesn't want anything to do with me, I don't take it personal. Like, it is what it is. But you got to pay attention to the actions that you're getting back from them. And when you notice it's not there or it's not sincere, you got to cut them loose. A lot of people are just staying in it for the kids. A lot of women marry guys they're not even in love with. And so when there's no passion there, 
I mean, if you just a lot of women after they have a couple kids and then the sex stops and she no longer feels beautiful because she's not really into her husband and it's like they both let themselves go and they're staying in for the kids and then they they end up roommates 15, 20 years later. Do you think marriage is idealistic, I think? Well, everybody's sold a Disney fairy tale mm. that you're, you know, for some people it really does work, but the numbers are really slim because, quite frankly, most people don't make good choices as to who they get into relationships with or who they have kids with. Or if they marry so young, it's like you're only 20-something. Mm -hmm. You have so much time for that. Yeah. People are really quick to rush into yeah. a, re a marriage Not when they don't. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Um, when they just don't know what they're putting themselves into. Yeah. Um, to go back to what I was saying, that kind of proves my point. You, they most importantly, they want the connection, and yet yeah. they they do a completely different like turnaround. That, that's something I'm never gonna understand. But what do you mean? No, that that um that they s guys would say they don't really care about the physical appearance and they like a girl that's natural and has a brain and yet when a girl that has a natural body and is actually intelligent comes into their life they treat them like it like they're a piece of meat and somehow they just revert they just go back to um what they say they don't like and you know, example, that's why you look at their actions because again yeah. the dude was in india you know that kind of stuff He's just I've not had, that into you. I think no, it was I a know. movie or a book, right? It's He's a just movie. Not that into you. It's a movie. I think it's a movie, yeah. I mean, again, I've had my heart broken so many times in my life, I don't really care anymore, but that kind of stuff. You do care. That's the problem. Stop no. giving your heart away to people that don't, don't reciprocate because you're not paying attention to that. And so what happens is you get involved with people that aren't that into you, and you waste months and years. Because now you're into somebody that's not into you, you're off the market. You're sending out a different vibe to the universe. So somebody that is single and would be perfect for you, they never come into your life because you're stuck on somebody that fulfills the belief that you're not worthy and you're not good enough to have what you want. Yeah. Whereas when you, you even though you may really like a dude, as soon as you see squirrely behavior, he's not his words and his actions don't match. You just stop putting any any energy and effort, and if he comes back wanting to hang out again and it's still something missing, and his actions and his words don't jive, just say yeah, it's not working for me. Yeah. I yeah. want I, I want to move on. Wish you the best. And but you gotta have a strength yeah. to do that because you get you're wasting valuable time hung up on people who don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, that's one of the biggest flaws I have in my life, and I am gonna hold myself accountable with that. You know, and I I should know better. I really should know better. Like that kind of stuff when when things just like backfire on you. Like the last thing you want is to feel very insecure about yourself. So that was something I've always struggled with, be, I guess, because of that. But I should, I should know better. I yeah, say I take just, it as, like, he's going back to that girl for a reason. It might not be the natural he's talking about or intelligence, but she has something. Might be physical appearance or a connection that, you know, we've been talking about that is unexplainable. Hey, the bottom line is he wanted to fuck the other girl, so he went and fucked the other girl. Yeah. But obviously, there's something missing there, and that's why he comes back to you. He, what, what you said this. The before. connection's not there that you want, and you're not paying attention to it. You have what something you? that she doesn't have, and he's trying to get the best of both worlds. Yeah, you're yeah, part of his Frankenstein cool. girlfriend project. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not cool though. Yeah. That's messed so up. That's why you need to put your foot down and be like, you know what? I'm not gonna. Yeah, you be gotta that. say no thanks to the Frankenstein girlfriend project. I want a man who's really into me and who really makes the effort. Love and you're not you. making enough of an effort. Yeah. 